Hey, what's going on guys, Blues here. Before this video starts, I'm going to leave a link to my Discord down in the description. If you guys have any questions or any uh, want to ask anything to get some tips on how to be able to get the fruit quicker, maybe I missed something or just want to ask any question to get further details, make sure you guys can join that. Also, make sure you guys drop a sub. Um, I've just passed 5k, I'm going to get 6k soon, and I'd appreciate if you guys would do that. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, to start off, what you want to do is come over to the first island and set your spawn. Um, this is just for new players, obviously, if you have enough money and you just want to get free fruits. Um, I'm going to tell you now, this video will not cost any Robux. Um, I know a lot of the things in here, like fruit here, spin fruit, cost like Robux and all that sort of stuff. Nothing is going to be like that in this video. I'm just going to do a completely free way, so make sure you guys watch through this. So, if new players, set spawn here. So, what you want to do is head over to the quest dummy. Once you get this, you just want to go and start doing his quests, like some of these. Once you get to the bandit leader, you can farm him a little bit, but what you're going to need for this is around 250k belly. So get around 250k belly, um, from however you do it, but once you get to 250k, you just come back. So let's say you went down, grabbed the bandit quest and killed some of those. They're just down there, um, at the top of this staircase. So once you keep doing that, just grind up. So what you want to do after that is head over to the island. Uh, the, the front of the island and make sure spawn set again um what you want to do is go into your boat on the menu and probably buy a sail ship just to get you there quicker this is what the 50k is for so what you do is buy one of those spawn that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a time lapse right now um so you guys can just get a quick idea of where to go so what you want to do is just head behind the island I'm going to give this a little speed lap, uh, a time lapse so you guys can uh, know exactly where to go. Head towards this island and behind it you'll see an island with two towers. So once you get 200k this is where you should be going. So we've just arrived at the island and who you're looking for is Zoro. So just jump off your ship, and in the front right corner will be Zoro. So what you're going to do is talk to him. Use your 200k to buy his first sword. Actually, it's 100k. Uh, my bad. So I'll I'll leave it correct it um, when I say it earlier. Um, I'll leave it on screen. Um, I messed up a bit. Um, so what you do is click sure. So now when you get your first sword. What you want to do is go into and equip it, so search it. Equip this sword. So now that you have your first sword, you can start working on grinding your sword stat. Which is probably one of the better stats to be able to get stuff with at the start of the game. Because you can go back and buy a two, two style, uh, two sword style, three sword style, stuff like that. So what we're going to do next is once you're back at the first island, you go and talk to this guy here. So as you can see, you can get these quest scrolls, which increase the amount of quests you can have, meaning it basically doubles your progress each time you get one. So what you want to do is instead of getting one of these, you can get two. So once you get Suzaku and level it up a little bit, as you can see, you have kind of some ranged attacks with this weapon, which makes it really good for grinding better than your fists when you start off. You want to come over here and start grinding this bandit leader because the bandit leader can drop a quest scroll, which can give you an extra quest. Um, you can get around five in total is the max. But once you get that, once you head over to a bunch of other islands, I'm going to go and show you which island you go to now to be able to get a fruit and remove your fruit for around 25 million belly for a fruit and 25 million to get rid of it. You can always ask people in your lobby, but no one likes really likes beggars. So just doing this on your own way is the best way. So just start finding quests. I'm pretty sure there's one on Luffy's Island, which is over in that direction, where you can kill mountain bandits to be able to get heaps and heaps of belly, like millions of belly each quest. So what we're going to do is go ahead to the island where you can actually get the fruit and remove the fruit. So head back to the front. So once you're back here, again, just spawn your boat, clear your old boat, spawn your new boat. Now what we're going to do is head over behind this island over here and head to the town where you can see a bunch of text. That's where you want to go next. So 
so we've now arrived at the island so hop off your ship and start heading over towards the middle so this guy right here called merchant is the one you can actually buy the fruit off so you just say yes and 25 million belly it's actually not as much as you think it is a lot of the quests in this game will rack up points pretty easily especially when you're grinding with two quests instead of one once you get that first drop so once you've done that you can come over here and buy your fruit um not many people talk about this other one which is over in this direction let's do a quick spin um I completely forgot that it would teleport you back to your first island. Well, let's, I'll uh, tell you when I get back there. All right, now that we're back at the fruit guy, um, sorry about that. So what you wanna do is just head towards the raid areas. Over here will be a guy called Businessman. This is something that no one really talks about and it's really helpful to know. If you talk to this guy, you can actually remove your fruit with Bally without having to pay any sort of Robux. So you just click remove devil fruit. This procedure will, will require around 5 million belly or 500 robux. Obviously you don't wanna pay that much robux for it. It's actually a stupid amount. Um, I'm not sure why it's so high. But you can also remove your fruit with codes if you don't want have a good one. And But all you wanna do is just keep your first fruit, grind up the fruit ability until you can actually get a lot of damage out of it. Then come over and when you have enough to respin, you just do this again until you get the one you want. So remove, remove here. I'm not gonna do it right now because I have magma, which is really good. Um, but yeah, that's just basically it. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, this is just the easiest way to get any sort of fruit because not many people talk about it. And there's not many ways that kind of indicate where to go. It's always just like, oh, find it around the map and stuff like that. But there's actually pretty easier ways. Obviously you can find it around the map, but doing it this way is probably the quickest because you actually get the one you want rather than having to spend a lot of time searching. You can just grind quests to be able to get money. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Make sure you guys join the Discord. Make sure you drop a sub. It's always free. You can always unsub if you don't like it. Anyway, uh, that's it for this and see you in the next video. Peace, peace.